Hey guys, this is Xbox Duelist. Um, today I'm bringing you a Necrolord Retribution Paladin PvP guide. Um, the guide's gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be short. I'm gonna try and keep around five minutes. Um, it's not gonna be a comprehensive ret guide. Um, I'm gonna save that for another video. Um, but without further ado, here's my Necrolord ret guide. So, uh, first thing we're gonna talk about is your talents. Um, the talents for, for Necrolord are pretty similar. I mean, you just look up any other ret guide they're all going to say zeal blade or wrath fist of justice um i like eye for an eye um depending on the matchup um but obviously you can you can fill around with these other two talents if there's a melee on the other team i like eye for an eye um depending on if he does magic damage or not like if it's a ret maybe i don't take eye for an eye because most of their big damage is magical um always take seraphim uh, divine purpose does not work with your vanquisher's hammer so if you uh it doesn't work with vanquisher's hammer um that's all you need to know uh vanquisher's hammer causes whenever you use it you do a chunk of damage gives you a holy power and it causes your next templars or final verdict to cause you to uh, like explode with a divine storm uh if you get a divine purpose proc it doesn't double down it doesn't give you bonus damage on your final verdict and your divine storm it doesn't do that um so doesn't work I don't recommend taking it. Um, Holy Avenger, no. Just take Seraphim. Seraphim buffs all your damage, buffs everything. It's great. Uh, Healing Hands, yeah, you must take that. Um, now, the thing is down here, Final Reckoning does buff the damage of your Divine Storm. Um, the um, Final Reckoning boosts all your Holy Power Spenders on the target, and I think it's in PvP by 30% for, for 8 seconds instead of the 50% in open world. Uh, um... So Final Reckoning does work with um, with what's it called very well. Final Reckoning does work with Vanquisher's Hammer well. I'm a big fan of, of Sanctified Wrath though. In threes, Aura of Reckoning is going off constantly. It's just so much extra free damage. That's my suggestion. Sanctified Wrath, but you can't go wrong with Final Reckoning. Final Reckoning works very, very well with Vanquisher's Hammer. I might start playing it again. It just depends on how the games are going that night. Um, but I love, I love, 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 love Final Reckoning. Uh, now with talents out of the way, um, Aura of Reckoning, you must take, um, Vengeance Aura, in my opinion, you take that 90% of the time, um, Blessing of Sanctuary, again, 90% of the time, uh, depending on the comp you're fighting, you can swap out Vengeance Aura with Unbound Freedom, or just swap out, uh, Unb uh Blessing of Sanctuary with Unbound Freedom, so it's pretty much just, it's, it's these three talents, and then in the fourth position is Unbound Freedom, and then maybe in the fifth position is Law and Order if you're trying to catch somebody. Um, but you can't go wrong with these three talents here, Blessing of Sanctuary, Vengeance, Aura, or of Reckoning, and Unbound Freedom, and Law and Order. Especially if you're playing with like a Frost DK, um, and you can make it so they can have a lot of uptime the whole game, or even a, an Arms Warrior, which is our two main comps. Um, or two main, main double melee comps. So yeah, definitely going to recommend Unbound Freedom and Law and Order. For your like backup uh, backups if vengeance or is really not going to be that good or blessing of sanctuary is not going to be that good depending on the comp like if the comp doesn't have like let's say you're fighting a shaman uh shaman healer may a uh, shaman healer mage with a boomkin you're fighting you're fight whatever that comp you're not going to get any stuns there's no fears there's like they have the boomkin stun but he's running root so you don't even use blessing of sanctuary that game um, Vengeance Aura, if there's not a lot of CC, if it's just a run you down and do damage, if you're fighting a turbo, maybe Vengeance Aura isn't too good there, so you swap it out with something else. Things like that. Um, next, we're going to talk about conduits. Um, your conduits that I suggest, um, Van R Righteous Might, it's just extra damage on Vanquisher's Hammer. Um, whenever you hit them, hit an enemy with it, you heal for the damage done. It does not heal into Absorb Shield, so be aware of that. Um, shielding Words, absolutely required. Um, Templar's Vindication, absolutely required. Um, some games, you are going to run either, you're going to run Final Verdict. I recommend Final Verdict most of the time. It's just so much extra damage. It's so good. Um, or you're going to run Reign of Endless Kings. Um, Reign of Endless Kings is good for setup comps. I'm starting to move away from Reign of Endless Kings because the extra damage just... The pressure mounts and their other team gets less goes if they're just on the back foot all game they don't get as big go they don't, their goes aren't as aren't as potent um reign of endless kings is also not as good as it seems because if you get hit by a big chunk of damage it only activates from whatever health you get reduced to below 20 so if i'm at 21 percent health and i get knocked down to two percent health in a single attack reign of endless kings 
activates at 2% health when I'm super low. So it's kind of good if you get like tickled down below 20%, but if you get smacked really hard below 20% health, it's eh. It's, it's eh. Um, but it does pair really nicely with the Royal Decree. So if you run Reign of Endless Kings, you must run Royal Decree with it. Otherwise, I just run Pure Concentration as my finesse conduit. Um, if we're fighting war Warlock teams, which are becoming more prominent now, Pure Concentration is great. It just helps your teammates out quite a bit. Um, so those are awesome. Uh, I recommend Plague Divisor Merilith for um, for Necrolord Rhett uh, because of this right here. Oozes Frictionless Coating. Every time you get hit below 50% health, you get a 15% Absorb Shield on you, which is awesome. Um, in Ultimate Form, it's just you heal, you get an Absorb, you're CC immune. So if they're making a go, you can kind of be cheeky and kind of get a skill shot with Fleshcraft and keep yourself from getting CC'd or stunned or whatever. It's a really, it's a nice ability. I like it. Um, it's very niche though. You gotta, you've gotta know when to push it. If you push it right, it's it's great. If you push it the wrong time, they just kick you. So if you can bait kicks or you notice they don't have kicks, then you're then you're in good water. Um, but there's that. Um, so yeah, there's a soul bind. If you're worried about damage, because the whole if you if you want more damage, um, you can go Emony um, at nine percent every time you throw hammer. At nine percent strength every thirty seconds is pretty nice. Um, I'd probably suggest you go sulfuric emission. For your last talent problem is if you go emony you don't get any potency conduits unless you go to this bottom unless you don't take um you'd have to take this this ability right here um emony's magnificent skin which is okay uh this one's a little bit better though um and then also sulfuric emission is better than the other options so this just depends you can you can get two potency or two potency conduits if you play your cards right um i don't really recommend emony at this point though i'll, I'll test her some but i don't i just don't recommend em emony at this juncture i'll probably test her eventually and i might post an updated guide um but right now uh Marilith giving this absorb shield every 30 seconds it's massive it typically equates to your avenger she or your shield of vengeance healing over the course of a match so if you wanted to chalk it up just imagine that your shield of vengeance heal heals you twice as hard that's that's literally every time I ever at the end of every game I'll check it. It's right there with Avenger Shield, so it's it's a very very good ability. It lets you greed a lot too, so those are always recommended. All right, so now let's just do a quick look at our burst rotation, and we'll probably wrap up the guide here. So let's get your judgment on the target. Make sure you have. Uh, uh, we'll hit the PVP dummy. We'll hit the PVP dummy. PVP dummy. Uh, so you just make sure you have your Seraphim up. I typically like to pop wings before I throw the hammer because the hammer hits harder so it heals you more and then you uh, do your attack and there you go so we didn't get any crits there with that well there's a crit right there um, so we didn't get any crits with that so what we're looking at right now is so you want you want what you want to do when you're looking at your damage to see if it's if it's worth it is look at your vanquishers hammer damage plus your divine storm damage so your divine storm my divine storm did about 5k here vanquishers hammer did about 4k um so that's an extra 9k damage during a go and if you time it right with your reckoning procs during arena you pretty much guarantee that you're going to get an extra 9k damage every 30 seconds so every every 30 seconds you hodge somebody so every hodge you're getting an extra 9,000 damage if you look at my uh my final verdict damage here i did the, my biggest one was 8k with all my damage all my wings up so imagine it like this every 30 seconds you're getting an empower you're getting a free empowered templar's verdict with your hodges so every single hodge you're getting a you're getting a boosted you're getting a free and more potent templar's verdict or final verdict whichever you're taking and it didn't even crit here like that my divine storm didn't crit my vanquishers didn't crit my final verdict didn't crit so you're getting a huge amount of damage in a single in a single to a couple of globals that's not even it's it's a very good ability i highly suggest it here um we're probably going to test it we'll do one more test and i'll call the video because i got about 20 seconds left on wings um but vanquishers hammer is very consistent i i really 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 like vanquishers hammer um along with the defensive traits that you get from Merilith with Ooze's Frictionless Coating in Ultimate Form. Um, also having the Finesse Conduit right here to where you can uh, provide some 
see some you can help your teammates out a little bit against warlock and priest teams um, and also the extra self healing you get with righteous might um, it doesn't come out to a lot over the course of a game because um, a lot of teams will have absorb shields will have damage reductions that reduce it but if you're good about it it comes out to a free free three or four word of glories over the course of a match and again it just it builds up you have your three or four free word of glory just just raw healing so you get about 20 20 to 30k healing from vanquisher's hammer on top of the extra 50 uh, whatever amount you get from extra 80k whatever from Marilus shield i mean that's a lot of free healing that can keep you from having to push defensives but without further ado we'll do our second burst and we'll call the video there see how it looks it's too far away. so here we go we pop seraphim pop wings we throw our hammer 4k do that do this do another one so once again they didn't crit, but it's very consistent damage. Um, I highly, highly suggest it. So here is about 4.5k. Vanquisher's Hammer, 4, 4k. Um, so again, 8.5k. An extra 8.5k damage each Hodge, and it's not even critting. Um, and you will come to realize that in PvP, with Vengeance Aura proccing, you will get a lot, you will get a great door, deal more of crits. Um, I'm going to be posting my, comp after I'm done with filming this, I'm actually going to start finding clips for my compilation video. Um, where I'm going to find some, just obviously, some some good looking clips of uh, Vanquisher Rhett and some Feral gameplay in action. It's more for the stream, more a compilation from the stream and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you guys. Uh, hopefully this, I think 12 minutes is a pretty decent time. I wanted to do 5 minutes, but... 12 minutes is better than what we had the one i had before was about 40 minutes long so this is much better but yeah uh check me out on twitch you'll see it on the uh, right over here on the screen where i'm scrolling check me out on twitch obviously like and sub the the youtube i'm um, trying to build the channel up build this community up uh, so far it's been a blast and i uh, look forward to having some more fun with you guys but yeah that'll be it thank you guys